Hi, good morning. My name is Tony Clark from Sailing Gurus and I'm currently on an owner assist training relocation delivery on a new Lagoon 46, taking it from Southampton to Cartagena, Spain. And today I'd like to give you an introduction to help you with uh, creating waypoints and setting routes on a BNG SUS 3 plotter. The first thing I'm going to do is show you where the waypoint and routing menus are and then I'm going to show you how to insert basic waypoints and create a route from those waypoints. So to get to our waypoint route menu we need to go to our menu button on the top left hand side which is here and then you have the waypoints menu at the top. Waypoints, routes, tracks, if you want to start a track for when you're going somewhere. If we have a look at waypoints, you have an option down the bottom left to create a new waypoint. Within here, there's only two ways to create a waypoint. One is create, create a waypoint at vessel, and one is project a waypoint for, from vessel. I've found using the Zeus 3, um, if you create a waypoint at vessel as a start, as you leave, as you build it into a route and you leave, it actually doesn't seem that the route follows on from that route of vessel. It actually looks back to the vessel. So that option doesn't actually work very well. Uh, what is better is projecting a waypoint from vessel. Um, we can project it on our course, project it a mile away, and you'll find that the route will build. way to create your waypoints is to create your waypoints from our right hand menu. Just make sure that you've highlighted the chart. Go up into your menu on the top right hand side, click new and you have a new waypoint option. This waypoint option as you can see from here is new waypoint at cursor. So when you're creating a route uh, you need your waypoint where you want where you want the way you need your cursor where you want the waypoint so I'm just going to discard that you have two options save or discard let's find our boat at the moment we're not sure where our boat is if you look down the bottom right hand corner clear cursor and we're actually in Alcadesa Marina uh, just next door to um, Gibraltar so let's look at creating waypoints uh, leaving Alcadesa Marina and we'll start from the exit of the marina. I've just put a cursor at the exit of the marina. I'll then go to the top right hand menu. I'll click the new button and I'll click the new waypoint. At this point we can give our waypoint a new name. Let's say we're going from here to Suta, so I'm going to create waypoints from here to Suta. I'm going to change this to C1. So let's clear that. C1, and let's enter that. And we'll save it. If we're now going to our waypoints list, top right hand side, waypoints, you can see that we've got our new waypoint C1. So let's create a number of waypoints to get us across uh, the Gibraltar Straits and across to Ceuta. Okay, so we'll probably need a waypoint here. So let's add that waypoint. New waypoint at Cursor, and let's call that CT2. Uh, C2, rather. Save that. Okay, out into the bay, new waypoint, that cursor, and that's going to be 3, C3, enter, save. Okay, let's have a look where Suter is. Suter, Suter is in here. Uh, Suta being Spain on the North African coast. So perhaps our best route 
maybe from there down to here somewhere new cursor new waypoint and that was c4 enter and save so let's just check those waypoints we've got c1 c2 c3 and c4 and i'm just tapping on those waypoints for the details to come up uh, from this waypoint here uh, it looks like we can go directly to Suta. So let's go to the entrance of Suta right here and put a new waypoint there, uh, C5, and hit enter and save. Okay, so we've got our necessary waypoints potentially for a new route. Uh, so let's go and build that route. Back to waypoints, to the route menu. There are waypoints there, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Click on new route, so actually click, click in the screen. And let's call this, let's call this, uh, let's call this uh, linear to suitor. And as you can see, we're limited to a certain number of characters. So as I press any other character, I can't add the A for Suta, but that's certainly more than good enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to add these waypoints individually. So I'm going to press and hold. You can see down the bottom here, insert. C1, insert. C2, insert. C3, insert. C4, insert. C5. And if I save that route, and what we can do is show that on the screen. See down the bottom here, show. Just have a look at that route, make sure it makes sense. Which that looks okay. Um, we've set up a page on our data side where it would give us distance to waypoints, uh, estimated time to waypoints, and to get the information up, we actually need to start that uh, route. We can either go through the menu to bring my route up, as you can see there, and then I could start that route, and you can either start in forward or reverse, and we're starting forward. Now we've got waypoint bearing, distance the waypoint, um, total distance to suitor, and that's fairly straightforward. If now I want to go in and move one of these waypoints, okay, if I press the waypoint whilst it's highlighted, go to my menu, it says waypoint C4, I can then go move that waypoint so I press the screen once press it twice to where I want that waypoint moved finish moving and if the distance changes it will change the distance so we've now moved the waypoint that's probably one of the nicest features I've found in the Zeus 3 uh, moving waypoints waypoint C4 move decide where I want to move it and finish moving and then you can see and it's updated the route I'm actually going to move it back finish moving and that's the basics of creating waypoints um, creating routes from the waypoints and being able to move your waypoints within a route.